Welcome back. So this week things are progressing further with the wiring. So I've uh, made these internal cables for the common nav uh, connections that go through the, the um, pressure bulkhead uh, out to the antennas. And these are the ones that hook up. One hooks up to the GTR20 and then uh, the other two a nav and com for the 750. And the guys are continuing to move things along with these uh, molds for the rudder skins. So this is... Um, they've done the heavy layers now on this one this is the uh, right hand side inner skin so that one's done and then this is the one for the left hand side and that one just needs to have its heavy layers put on now and meanwhile uh, Jeff's got the nose hatch door um, put on and the hinges there have actually been bonded into place there so he's letting those cure and here's that plug for the upper straight flanges so this one got another round of primer and uh, guide coat on there so that's uh, ready for the last round of sanding now and this is today now so the guys uh, quickly threw together those two platforms for the uh, elevators and so got the machine running here and um, working on the, the lower one first and meanwhile the guys are also creating the bracing for those molds that they've been working on so this is the one that you saw earlier so creating the bracing out of foam for that one and uh, there's a uh, another one you saw for the uh, upper straight flanges underway in terms of it sanding for the last go around so the lower skin got uh, machined as you see in the background there and now it's time to go on to the upper one so it didn't take long to do these they're not that big really um, and certainly not that complicated but uh, so that one there just needs to be uh, cleaned up around the edges and uh, get glassed and uh, meanwhile uh, over the weekend I got all the different bits and pieces that I needed to hook up that uh, heat exchanger for the engine I haven't had a chance to do it yet because I've been working on more of the wiring uh, but you know all the bits and pieces there fittings to hook up to the heat exchanger and then uh, plumb it into um, the uh, engine there so I'll be taking it off the heater loop and then running that through one side of the heat exchanger and there's a, a filter there so the water that's going to be in this 55 gallon drum is going to go through a filter first uh, before it goes through the pump or the uh, heat exchanger we don't want to clog up either of those with any gunk uh, anyway so that's going to be something I'll be working on maybe later this week or otherwise next week and now I switch the machine over to the ball mill just to finish off the um, last curved areas where the flanges are where you can't sort of run a flat thing there because of uh, because of con a concave surface there and that's the same thing they do on most of the platforms so uh, it didn't take long to get these two uh, done in the foam and there's a pile of foam on the floor and so as always my responsibility to go and get that cleaned up and put in the bags and uh, here's the uh, other one actually sorry now this is a little bit a few minutes later um, so that one's finished there and it's just working on the other end and there I've gone and cleaned up the foam and that's basically the foam for these two a little scrap there and the guy's got this one hot wired so that one's ready to have the uh, the glass cut for that one and, uh, and then resin put on that and they also got the heavyweight layers done for this uh, left hand side one that I showed you earlier so that one now just needs the bracing and so then the other two are the ones that still have to be done and as I said before I've been pretty busy working on the wiring um, the last two days so these are the uh, connectors here on either end those are the ones that are going to go to the side sticks for all the buttons on the side sticks and then this connector that one actually is going to be running up the A pillar up to the roof channel uh, up to the roof chase there where all the overhead uh, switch panel is and uh, so you can see I've been working on that and just started the wiring on that so a lot of these wires are all sort of joined together because they're all common ground or uh, the ones for the LED lights that are inside those switches so I've got those mostly sorted out and uh, so there's not too much more to do there apart from actually hook up the, the single feature to each of those switches um, so that's coming along and for something a little different I thought I'd show you some of the tools that I use while I'm doing the wiring so this is the heat gun um, that I got in the main um, feature about this heat gun is it comes with these different attachments and they sort of channel the heat in and that particular one you know is really good for uh, doing the solder sleeves and doing the shrink wrap 
um, as you've seen me do before in the previous videos. And uh, let's see uh, what's next. Oh, just I got a couple of different uh, cutters, so that's a little um, a small one there, which is really handy for just trimming off, you know, little fine bits of wire and things like that. And then larger ones for cutting wire, and you know that that'll cut through most stuff. And obviously, you've seen these before. Nothing new. And uh, what's up next is um, you know, wire strippers, and I got two of these. Uh, this one does kind of larger gauges down to about um, 10 gauge I think or 8 gauge on that one and then I got one for um, finer gauges and this one goes all the way up to I think 26 or something like that so using those to strip the ends of the wires there which come in handy that's kind of how they work you just put the wire in there and I mean anybody who's done any wiring has seen these before very useful okay so next um, this is a crimper that I use for things like the spade crimpers um, like you just saw on the switch panels and that's what they use for crimping on and different colors there for the different size connectors or different size wires going in the connectors and then this is a special crimper that's used for the the uh, connectors that go in the vertical power system and you see they, they come on a, a tab there where you break one off and then put it in the connector and put the wire on it there so I've been using that one for a vertical power and this is a special one the DMC or Daniels one that comes with these um, different positioners here that you sort of just unscrew and take out and so the, the uh, connectors that you're putting in there these are the pins that are in all these DB connectors um, and all these other different sort of um, high density connectors that I'm using so there's a different positioners that I have depending on what type of pin it is whether it's a female or male and some of them are bigger than others and such so that's one of them there that's one of the female ones that I use on all these um, DB connectors there um, that are you know on the back of the Garmin um, hardware and things like that and how those positioners work is that you just put the um, little end uh, coupling there or the pin in the the um, crimper there and it holds it at the right level and then you put the wire in it, in it and then uh, crimp it and it makes sure the crimp is in the right spot and this is the one I'm using for the um, the uh, um, BNC connections for like the antenna cables that you saw earlier so it has one a larger one for crimping the um, the large thing or along the end of the cable and a smaller one for crimping the pin that actually is in the center of um, of the uh, cable so the large one there is doing that the silver end there and then the small one does the pin in the middle there so and you know these things aren't cheap but you know you, you've got to have them um, if you want to do a good job on what you're trying to do here all right so let's see uh, what's next these are the solder sleeves that we use and they come in different diameters so you basically put them over wires that you want to sort of join together um, good for doing the ground shielding and things like that but also good if you're like you want to split two wires into one or bring you know one into two or whatever and so you basically put it over there where the wires exposed and run the heat gun on and it shrinks it down the the shrink wrap or the heat shrink shrinks around it and then the solder actually melts and joins the connection up for you which is really nice um, and you know they're not cheap either they're a dollar something each or something like that depending where you buy them from but they save you a lot of time and they do a good job and lastly um, the labeler here Dymo labeler um, with the uh, heat shrink labeling um, in there so you just basically type in what you want there and then uh, press the print button and it prints out and you cut those things up put on the wire and use the heat gun to shrink them on there so anyway I uh, thought you might enjoy that that's the update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching